Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Open for Business. Man, have I got a great treat for you tonight. We have Lisa Campos from the Investigation Station. And let me tell you what, she is a nonprofit up here in Pasco, and she is amazing. And what she does is amazing. So we're going to bring her on right now. Hello, Miss Lisa. Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm really, really good. And I'm excited to talk to you about... Um, there's so much, right? Yeah. Um, and I've and I've known you for several years, and it's like this is such a great idea. So, for the people at home, let's tell them what Investigation Station is. Okay. So, unlike what the name sounds like, we have nothing to do with being a sleuth. Okay. Or <laughs> I quite occasionally get phone calls asking me if I'm a private investigator. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. No, we don't do that. We are a hands-on children's museum without a building. Right. So we create interactive exhibits for kids and their caregivers to experience for free yep. on their own time in Pasco County. Right. And the wh why I say on their own time is because we don't have a building, so there are no opening and closing times right, right. that you have to abide by. So, you know, your work schedule allows you to go at seven o'clock in the morning. You can go at seven o'clock in the morning. Wow. We are in public places. Yeah. One of them you did, I think, was Starkey Park. Mm hmm Oh, and you had, as you went along the trail, you got to learn different things. And it was, I think it was solar system based, correct? Yes, yes. So let's, so let's talk about that one real quick. That's this right here. This is um, an image of Saturn from our From the Sun to Pluto exhibit, which okay. is in Starkey Wilderness Park. It's a one mile scaled model of the solar system. Wow. So you start at the sun and a mile later you're at Pluto and it's set up as though you were in outer space. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Right. Now. So the inner planets right. are very close to the sun. And then as you, you know, move past Jupiter, everything is more and more spaced out just the way it is in outer space. Nice. And we had a wonderful artist named Gordon Engebritson, local from Land Lakes. He created all of this beautiful digital artistry for us um, and he made sure that he included um the sun oh yeah look at that little bitty blurp over there in in each piece of artwork so you could you know get a sense of how much farther away you right. were from the sun as you journeyed along on the back side of each piece of artwork are fun facts okay um related to each solar body and formulas so you can figure out your age and your weight on all the other solar bodies oh i've never thought about that i guess yeah if you're going to if you're going to go the further out the heavier you are heavier you are or i guess it depends on the gravity side it depends of it. on the pull of gravity wow. on okay. each of the solar bodies so on Jupiter, they it has the strongest force yes. of gravity, and so you would weigh hundreds of times more than you do. And on Pluto, talking about bulking up, <laughs> right? Without trying. And then on Pluto, you know, you would weigh like you know, I don't know, a few, a few gra grains of really of rice. You so know? you kind of float around more, I guess. Yeah, it's like going yeah. to the moon. You kind of just you hop and skip type of thing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And and then you know, if you want to really think about how old you would be. I mean, because it's how long it takes you to get around each each solar body to get around the sun. Right. I keep saying solar body because of the of Pluto being, oh, it's a planet. No, it's not. It, it is a planet. Is. No, I'll not. never say it's not a planet. You can't tell me it's not a planet. I'm telling you, go Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you, know, you can figure out, you know, all right, well, on, on Mercury, I would be 327 years old, but on Pluto, wow. uh, Pluto, I would be like one and a half, you know, wow. or, or and, however much. You know, be. I never thought about how old I would be because of the, that's awesome. Wow. You really do. You kind of make the mind go, oh, it is a mind and body it is. Uh, journey to go from the sun to Pluto oh, out there. Wow. And, and so, um, Make sure you bring your water bottle because you <laughs> you will be walking two full miles because you got to get back. It, it's oh, a, it's right. linear. Mile there, mile back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people that you need to park at shelter number five in the park. Okay. Um, and there's a little footpath that goes past the restrooms and out to the bicycle path, and that's how you get to okay. that exhibit. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Okay, so let's let's go back to investigation station. So, what is the what is the core value that you're trying to bring to the kids? We want to or make- to adults too, because now I'm thinking I'm, this is going to be kind of cool. I want to go. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. Um, we want to make positive out of the school class, out of the classroom, out of school, positive educational um, opportunities. Okay, uh, leisure education is important we need to keep learning throughout our lives we do and not everybody is good at school not everybody has had a positive school experience so to be able to continue learning things about our world and our universe in a positive way is really that is a benefit to everybody no you don't just do planets no you also i'm looking up here you got the Paleozoic era. Yes, this is just a draft. Okay. Um, there's a spelling error on there, and I would have all, never. No one would have never known. I'm just telling you. In case there's a geologist out there okay. watching us, um, but this is just a draft, and this is going to be part of our Florida Rocks: A Walk Through Geologic Time. Oh, okay. And it's going to take our visitors from the very, very early days of of the earth's existence 40 billion years ago or whatever it is now and and how florida Million came years. to be where it is okay in, in the on the planet and um we'll show how you know there was nothing there was no land and then how land became and then how we had these two super continents come together and then they broke apart and then they made Pangaea and now that's been broken apart now you know Africa's came, splitting now so and, oh my gosh oh my that's where Florida came from Florida came from Africa it broke off of Africa really? and moved across the globe and then we didn't have like where we're living right now didn't yeah. exist. No. We were underwater for I was gonna say, this is all, this millions is the ocean, of right? years, yeah. and then we came above water due to the erosion of the Appalachian Mountains. Really? Yes. I did now. See, I did not. Again, this is something. This is not just for kids. This mm-hmm. could be really good for adults too, because yeah, a lot of adults don't know. And I talked to a lot of people that don't know, and I'm like, oh, okay. You didn't know that, but that's okay. But now, and I did not, I did not know that that this all came because of the Appalachian Mountains. Yes, that yes. is absolutely amazing. Now we have another piece of artwork here. We do. And is this is this something that's going to try to be happening? Or this is happening. This, this is open. Is happening. This is open already. Wow. This is our water cycle splash pad. It's at the Veterans Memorial Park in Hudson. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And. Um, we tried to pick out features that would help kids to see the cycle okay. of the water, of you know the water cycle in Florida, and we had some amazing artists create a beautiful 100 foot long mural along the gymnasium backside that right. faces the splash pad, showing how the water cycle works. How we've got. You know, evaporation and transpir- transpiration, you know, and that leads to condensation and precipitation and collection. And it's it's just really beautiful. That and, is and, awesome. You know, now, and, how long has this been? been this is- that took about eight, eight and a half years yeah. to build. It was a lot of money yeah. raising, <laughs> right. fundraising, because um, it was like if, if we paid for it, all in dollars and mm. and not in all of those wonderful in kind donations. Yeah, and, you know. uh, then it would have been like a three hundred thousand dollar project. Wow. Mm, yeah, That's it took crazy. a long time, a very long time. But it's it's great, and one of my favorite things about it is that kids don't need to know how to swim. Right. And in Florida, I mean, learning to swim is very important. Yeah, it's huge. But um, the park we put it at the park where uh, there's a lower socioeconomic mm-hmm. um, neighborhood bo- nearby. Right, right. And, um, you know, that way those the parents of those kids don't need to be Worry worried about, yes. that their child is going to drown right. while trying to cool off and remain active in the summertime. And 
Now, really is this important. a summertime only location or does this go all year long? Oh, it's open all year long. Because this is Florida. I know, exactly. Yeah, it's March and February and it's in the 80s for God. I'm telling <laughs> well, you. And immediate. even when it's 60, we've got our northern friends who oh, come down from vacation and they still enjoy it. Okay. But I know I know that the park does have to close it for a little while every year to do maintenance yeah. and clean up and, yeah, and right. stuff De- like that. Disinfection, all that kind of fun stuff. Yay. <laughs> so you have, I mean, what else? We, what else do you got going on? Because that's these are three major. This one's going to be awesome. I I love I love this world here. Um, mm-hmm. I love space too. I think space is. This is a really cool image. I'm going to bring this out here so Rob all can right. show that. So I'm not sure. Is this your? Is this the same artist? Th- this is also the same artist. Uh, this, John Dispinet. Um, right. He's not Gordon Eng- Ingebrigtsen. This is showing. This is his imagery showing how Earth came to be oh okay so that's going to be part of the florida rocks exhibit so, okay so explosion collapse where we're at now kind of type of thing i think that in his artist's eye he yes. was coming up with different gotcha spheres spheres yep yep i can see it that is at, so what else is going on with an investigation station we we also have an exhibit that travels through the Pasco County Library System. Okay. They wanted a traveling exhibit that could go to each of their branches. And they, I think, had requested it be a STEM exhibit. Oh, so, nice. Yep. So it is, And STEM stands for? Oh, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Okay, very good. So we <clears throat> collected a bunch of uh, Kiva planks. And oh, yeah. Okay. Keep, do you know if you have a plank? So it was just like flat pieces of bricks, mm-hmm. kind of remind me of Jenga blocks. Kind of, but a little bit, yeah. Yeah. And you can get them in different colors if you want or just natural. And so um, we took a, like hundreds of those. <laughs> oh, hundreds boy. Hundreds of oh, those. Oh, my. And we created a really cool construction idea guide. And we got a catapult <gasps> and a wrecking ball because unlike the traditional toys that have those little locking mechanisms <coughs> yep. in them. You know what I'm talking yep, I know. about? You know that brand? Yep. Um, Kiva planks, <clears throat> excuse me, just lay flat on top of each other and they're not locked. Right. So it's easy to destroy something and then want to build again. Build again. Whereas right. those locking blocks. Once they're in, they're in. <clears throat> A lot of children have a difficult time deciding that, okay, I want to take this p- apart that I mm-hmm. just built right. and build something else. Right. But that destruction is part of the creative process. Yes. And so to be able to be excited about knocking down what they've just built and want to build again right. is huge. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal in their development process. So I'm the kid yes. that grew up going, I want to take it apart <clears throat> and put it back together and see what I can make out of it, mm-hmm. which is... I've destroyed a lot of TVs. <laughs> just, just saying. I know more about inside of TVs than I really should. But That's yeah, I'm like, that was really cool. <clears throat> yeah. So that doesn't sound very mobile, though. Oh, well, it's just in a huge box. And then the libraries send it from branch to branch. And like when they have their um, weekends of, of building oh, okay. with that other brand, right. then they have our our uh, well, that's kids' awesome. structure. Have, yeah, it gives them two options. Mm-hmm. You know, they get halfway through, oh, that's not working out the way I wanted to do. <laughs> Yeah, you know, let's take it apart. Yeah. With the other ones, you got to figure out, put it all together and go, oh, yeah, it didn't work out so good. And that, Or they just leave it, and yeah. then they start another one, and then the librarians have to take it yeah, all apart. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, good for the <laughs> – yeah, those those don't come into my house just like, <laughs> because those are just little landmines. I'm, <clears throat> oh, yeah, they are dangerous on the bottoms of the very, feet. very, very dangerous. Yes. Oh, so now this is now – Mm-hmm. It, when is this going on? This is this is now, now as, as well. well. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so this is what is going to be. Okay. So we're currently looking for corporate sponsors. Okay. We have twelve stations. Okay. That will take you from the very beginnings of Earth to present day. Right. <clears throat> and so we need some corporate sponsors to help cover the costs. We have uh, some some of the stations are going to be pure purely artistic okay and others will have um mechanical like hands-on kind oh, of things that the nice. kids can move or the adults you thank can, you you can play too john yeah yeah 
Okay. <laughs> so, so, okay. What, so what do you need from, uh, I, I know you need money and I, we, mm-hmm. we all want that, right? So money. what do you need from the corporate sponsors to get this going? Okay. It's the best deal around. Awesome. It's a thousand dollars for a station. That's awesome. And then your name will be on that station, um, forever. Okay. Uh, this, this exhibit is um, in conjunction with the city of Newport Ritchie. Oh, okay. And it's going to be along Grand Boulevard at, in River Park that yes. goes along the Cody River there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does that tie into anything to do with the dinosaur guys <clears throat> down there? That the, was uh, there's a, used to be a school, I think. Uh, oh yes. Um, okay. No, we're we're no. not okay. we're not Good. part right. of of that group. So this uh, okay. So let me make sure. So this is going on right now. And is Mm -hmm. this something that Starkey Park has said, hey, this is permanent. We're going to do this forever and ever for you guys. And it's just Mm -hmm. something that continually is. And you can kind of go explore on your own? Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. So we opened it um, way back in like 2012, I think. I I remember you coming on one of the shows, the Chamber, my Chamber TV, talking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's been 12 years. I believe so. And so, so this is open in the park. Park over by shelter number five. Five. You can get to the bike trail. You know, you can bike your way in or you can, you know, park and start is there. there. An, is there a donation bucket or something there you can kind of donate to help no. keep it going? There no. should be. By, you need to have a QR code. Uh, Make there a Q- is a QR code, yes. There you go. That we have. Take donations because that right. And so if I went and did this tomorrow, mm-hmm. how long does it take me to go? Th- or just, I guess it's just my, at my pace, it right? It is your pace. And and on Saturdays, there are quite a few people parked over there for really? the bike trail. Oh, yeah. The oh, bike trail is wicked popular. I didn't, didn't know there was a bike trail in there. Oh, yeah. I knew there was a camping place in there because I... I Yes, I knew there's a camping place. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a bike trail. The bike, bike trail, trail goes all the way out to the Suncoast Bike Trail. Well, I'll be. Yeah. See what I don't know. Well, I learned something today. Well, I learned actually a lot of things today, but that's awesome. I'm I'm here to teach you. Okay. So if, so if, but if I'm watching this and I'm like, you know, that's a great cause. I do want to give a, I want to give donations. How do I, do I go to the website? You can go to our website. We have a little uh, link there to donate now. Um, we have a uh i think rob oh there it is yeah rob's rob's is. got it yeah amazon smile oh i need to take off the smile because they stopped doing they that just program. stopped that i can't mm. believe they did that yep i can show you a way to help you out there though oh, okay there's all there's right. another way all right and then we've got um two others at the bottom it says a good shop Oh, yes. If you go shopping online right, right. and you start at Good Shop, they okay. give you all kinds of coupons. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then like somewhere between a half a percent up to like 7% of whatever you purchase um, that goes to us. And then you can also do very cool. goodsearch.org and goodsearch.org pays us a penny every time you do a search okay. that way. Okay. So that's well, make sure we get those and we'll put them in the description of the video. So when people are watching, they can know, they know where to go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, that is absolutely phenomenal. I love what you guys are doing. I, you know, I wish I was a bigger company so I could be like bigger and help and more help. But we kind of do what we do and tell them. So what else is going on with investigation station that I didn't even talk about? Anything good? Anything exciting? I mean, this is this is exciting to me. It, it is because I'm so a nerd. Exciting. Actually, I'm a nerd and a geek, so that to me is super exciting. I cannot wait. Do we have an estimated time for that, or just just when all the fun, the funds finally roll in? Well, it's it's not only the funds. It's just it's getting everything lined right. up. It's um, my husband jokes that just like Obama, I could become president because I'm a community <laughs> organizer. I, I've got you know the artists, I've got the the um, engineers, yeah. I've got the city, I've got donors. You know, it's 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 a lot of coordinating and organizing, but it's well, I didn't a lot think of that. Fun. Yeah, you have to you have to really kind of get the city involved in all this. But yes, we need their approval. Yes. <laughs> they want to see everything right. before they they put their seal on it and that say go is ahead. Amazing. So <clears throat> my my dream would be to get all of the parts in order so that we can start construction in December, you know, by December yeah. or get the approval and everything by the end of this year and then have it all done by the end of next year. Wow. Yeah. Cuz it does take a lot of work. Well, yes. Yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, you got to put the stuff in place where it can't be stolen. 
Yes. Right? It's, yes. It, everything has got to be. and vandalism are like at the top of our list when we're really? looking for materials that we want to work with right. and, and how we want everything to be set up. And, okay. and we can't have things just walking away. Like our signs in Starkey Park for the solar walk, um, somebody decided that, well, if I can't steal Jupiter, I'm just going to deface it, which is horrible. Which is not nice. So uh, let me ask you this, because I'm I'm, these, I'm this kind of. If someone can't give you a thousand dollars, but they have the material that you need, mm -hmm. can that be a sponsor as uh, well? Yeah, we would definitely. Okay. So is there is there somewhere where there's a list of needs of what material you need to do it, or so should someone just contact you and say, Hey, Lisa, what do you need? material of right. that we can help out with. I, I would appreciate a phone call. Okay. That would be much, much better. Okay. Um, we had been working with a, a very charismatic gentleman who was going to do all of our, um, you know, installment. Right. And um, it turned out he was not as upfront with all of his ah, credentials. Okay. So um, that's really important to yeah. me now is yeah, to right. receive uh, visual proof and, and have proof that, that everybody yeah. is um, licensed and insured right. in the county and allowed to work here before right. um, we, we start receiving donations gotcha. from them. So this right here is some, in my brain, this goes, oh, you need a lot of concrete. Yes, sand, we will need concrete. You know, post, um, mm -hmm. stuff that you can mold and make, right? S yes, signage. Sign oh, to, signage is, to yeah. You know, to recognize yeah. the sponsors. Hey, all my signage guys out there, you know, <laughs> what a great thing to get behind. I'm just yes. saying. I thought I probably know six, and I'm going to go, hey, you need to be helping out, bro. That would be great. Yeah, we need signage, and then we have for our... Uh, our engineering stations will have them on these little raised tables. Okay. That at, a, at a slant, obviously, so right, that right. rain and you know precipitation washes off. Um, but they're um, you know they have to be weatherproof. Florida oh, yeah, weather. I was going to say that you're talking you're talking uh, treated lumber. You're talking plexiglass. You know, and in a sealant to go around the plexiglass and easy to take the plexiglass off to be. Uh, my brain's already going oh. Oh, I, she needs a she needs an outdoor table where you know yeah some yes. stuff can live inside there and they can read and go oh that's kind of cool right and so those kinds of things are not things I have expertise in right. so I'm always looking for people in the community who would be willing to help me and provide their expertise right you know to say oh at least this is not the materials that you want you want this so that kind of help is always Got welcome you. as well I'll oh, see I mean I mean I'm. I know four or five construction guys that I know for a fact they can work in this county and they do right. great work. Oh, and good, good, good. It's like, hey, you know, Lisa needs some help. That you know? would be good. Because yes. that's that's a that's an that's a good volunteer day. Oh, Go yeah. in and build, you know, build a table, build an outside thing. So all right, my construction guys, you know who you are because I got four of you and I you know every one of you and we all know each other. So and y'all know Lisa. Lisa, I mean you don't know Lisa, you need to know Lisa. I'm oh. just saying. Well, thank um, you, John. So what else is going on? I mean, we're only we're running out of time. We're about three minutes left. So um, is is the website got all the contact information that they need to get a hold of you? Yes, our website is up to date. Um, but if anybody would like to know, my my cell phone is 727-459-7331. You're giving your cell out? I am. You got, we got, we got some people that will stalk you now. That's my work cell. Huh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> and Lock. then, yep, no. And then uh, you can always send me an email okay. at Pasco's Investigation Station at gmail.com. Okay. Always good too. But awesome. if you go online to our website, which is investigationstation.org, you can reach me through that. Okay. And and at our um at our exhibits, there's always a QR code that you can scan and takes us takes you to our website. To the website. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. We've got two minutes left. Okay. And I and this is the one question I always say for left. What is your why? Why did you do this? Why did you start investigation station? What 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 made you wake up and go, I'm gonna do this? Okay, so when my children were little and I would want to bring them to a children's museum because that was part of how my mother raised us mm -hmm. was she would always take us to children's museums. The museums are so far away mm -hmm. 
that they would be cranky and not fun to be with when we got there. (laughs) You're right. That positive educational experience was not being had. So so, uh, as a graduate with a degree in anthropology, and I had wanted to work in a museum. I wanted to work for the Smithsonian. Oh yeah. Um, but that's okay. I love Pasco County. Especially I, when I'm it comes here. alive at night. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It really probably doesn't, but I would, that would be cool. <laughs> so I said to my husband, I think I'm going to start a children's museum. And he said, yes, go for it. That's that awesome. would be great because we have tons of of things here for our older population, mm-hmm. um, but something like this for our younger folks, we don't we, we don't, don't have, have too many you are opportunities. So correct, absolutely. So. Well, thank you for being on today and educating me because I get to I got to le- I like to learn something today, and I guarantee everybody home is like, oh, this is going to be awesome. We got to help her. So, just saying, uh-huh. um, it's been really, 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 really awesome. Um, it, it, it I'm is- actually. I'm gonna now. Now my brain's working. Going, I got to find a weekend where I can go and do the walk because me and my wife yeah. we, we like outdoors. So yes. that's perfect. And I didn't know there was a bike path. <laughs> I knew you could ride your bike over there, but I didn't know there was an actual path there. The path so. that goes all the way to oh, the Sun Coast Expressway. I got learned it did something. Yes. Can I bring my scooter? No, Absolutely, <laughs> scooters, roller skates. Oh, there you go. However, but thank you. It's been an honor. Oh, hey, thank you so this much. was great. We're going to do this again. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week on Open for Business.